Good morning. I'm Tim Daniels. I'm the Marketing Manager at Autoscribe Informatics. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about instrument interfacing. And the new module has been released by Autoscribe called MIDAS. MIDAS stands for the Instrument Data Acquisition System. And what it actually does is take text and CSV files from various instruments and import those into the LIMS system. So MIDAS interfaces between the instruments and the LIM system itself um, using text and CSV files. CSV and text interfacing like this takes up about 80% of the instrument interface market. So uh, many of the instruments you have in your lab will be interfacing with this sort of system. The other 20% is taken up with uh, IP interfaces, uh, database lookups, um, uh, serial interfaces and so forth. Um, so um, this is the larger part of the market. Um, and uh, so this module um, is, is to help with that. Um, an important side of uh, MIDAS is that it interacts with the Matrix Gemini LIM system. So, uh, for instance, the information coming from a, an instrument might include well plate information, but not the sample number. And it will take that to the information about the well plate locations um, and bring back the sample numbers from uh, the LIM system and then include the, the results directly into the LIM system um, for those particular samples. So um, it's able to manipulate data quite extensively. Uh, and of course, that's a, a main feature of, of, uh, of MIDAS. So let me um, show you a quick example of how we would use MIDAS. Um, I wanted to show you um, a particular test, um, and I'm going to call this uh, the mastitis test. So if I look at this particular test, um, here's the grid for it, um, and uh, so it's checking uh, various types of bacteria uh, for the in the mastitis test, um, E. coli and other things um, you can see here. Um, and uh, we'll be importing those results automatically. So um, let's uh, register a sample and, and uh, get those results done. So uh, I'll pick uh, through, uh, through our standard workflow, I'll pick a, a batch, doesn't matter which batch in fact, in this case, um, and then we'll have um, what I've called the PCR test here. And I'm going to select that, and then submitter will be um, uh, anybody really. That's really where it comes from. It could be a farmer or uh, wherever the, uh, the product is. I'm going to also prepare, um, so we get right up to the um, the, uh, the testing stage. And I'm going to register that number. Okay, so register that sample, and the number is 29. So uh, we can look for that in a, in a few seconds. Okay, so let's jump to the result entry screen and look for 29. And we'll look at the result entry. And here is that grid ready to receive um, the samples. Okay, the sample results. So let's go now to the samples and um, the instrumentation instant interface side of things. Um, okay, so if I open up this file, this is the sort of file which will be coming in from uh, the PCR instrument. Um, so here I'm imitating the PCR instrument, um, doing its work, and then um, outputting the file. Um, and here is the, this, the information which I'm going to be importing, as you can see here. Um, so this is sample 29, and you can see the various results, uh, which are in a, a CSV separated format. OK, so I'm going to copy that. Um, and then simulate the instrument putting that file into this location. There you go, it's done, and uh, it's already um, got the results and put them in here. And if I look at the, uh, the file which has now uh, been imported, um, this is the file which has ended up with, which is uh, a massaged version of the initial file. And it's, this is the format which is uh, acceptable to, uh, to the LIM system. So it's uh, massaged it to uh, suit the LIM system and uh, then it's imported it. So the next thing to do would be to go back and uh, and look at the matrix system. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so we just need to open up the workflow, look at the results entry and go back to our 
test here and then results entry over here. And now we can see that that information has gone straight into the limb system um, for that particular sample. And we can see that, for instance, E. coli is a negative result, um, but the, uh, the test above it has got a positive result, um, for instance. And that's how it's reporting that. OK. So I can uh, then go through to validation. And uh, I can validate that result. Well, it looks OK to me, so let's validate that. And uh, then we'll go through to approval. Um, and we can approve those particular tests. In this case, it requires a digital signature, which is what I'm putting in now. There we go. And then we can um, jump to uh, the reporting side of things and create a certificate of analysis or any other reports we require from this, um, just to show that uh, uh, we've got the results in and uh, it's um, as we expect. Um, so that could be reported back to any authority or whatever. This is a crystal reports format um, file and um, any uh, information out of the database could be put into this and reported on. OK, so that's a basic run through importing from a, an external instrument using MIDAS. Um, let me go back through just quickly to um, summarize then. Um, it's taking instrument um, text or CSV files. Um, you could have uh, 50, 60, 100 instruments in your lab um, outputting these sorts of files. And then MIDAS will take those files and massage them into the right format and then import them into the LIMS system. Um, and in that way, um, you can automatically um, import results from tests into the LIMS system. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope that was a useful introduction to MIDAS.